Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Sunil Kumar Sahu from Informatica Active Watch team. In today's session, we will see how to configure messaging services in Active Watch when deployed on a WebLogic application server. The agenda of this session is providing introduction to Active Watch messaging service and a demo on configuring messaging services through Active Watch console. Messaging service is a feature available in Active Voice for configuring one or more JMS services. Through console, we can specify the setting that can allow Active Voice server to establish connections to a JMS server. There are basically five steps involved while configuring a messaging services in Active Voice when Active Voice is deployed in a WebLogic application server. First, we need to configure a JMS server on a WebLogic. JMS server will act as a management container for queues and topics in a JMS module. Step 2 is to configure a JMS module. JMS module is nothing but a collection of JMS system resources. The step 3 will be to create a sub deployment. Through sub deployment, we can group the JMS resources like queues, topics, and connection factories. The fourth step will be to create a JMS resources like queues, topics and connection factories and the step 5 is to configure the JMS message manager in ActiveOS console and provide the connection settings for queues, topics and connection factories. In the demo we will see what are the essential components that we need to configure in WebLogic application server and also what all configurations are required in ActiveOS console to connect to a JMS server. First we will see what all configurations are required on a WebLogic application server. We had logged into a WebLogic application server console. Now we will go to the JMS services. The first step as, as I told in the presentation the first step is to create a JMS server. In this presentation, I had used the default JMS servers provided by WebLogic server that is targeted to a managed server. You can create a new JMS message server through this new button and target it to a managed server. The second step is to create a JMS module. Here I had already created an ActiveOS JMS module which is targeted to a particular managed server. You can create a new JMS module through this new button. While creating the JMS module, you have to configure sub deployments as I mentioned in the presentation. This is the step three, uh, step three we need to do. You can group all the queues, collection factories and listeners to a particular sub deployment. After configuring the JMS module, we need to configure the JMS resources like queues, connection factories, etc. Here I had conf here I had already configured a queue. Active was queue. You can create you can configure a JMS resource through this new button. You can select the particular JMS resource type and create it. As we had already done it. So we are uh, we will now go and add the connection settings to the active was console just to revise the steps are simple the first step is to create a jms server then create a jms module under module create a sub deployment then create connection factories and queues in that jms module now let's launch the active was console under this admin tab you can find messaging service configurations once you click on this messaging service link, this will display this particular window. Here we can provide a name to a message manager. And add that message manager. Once the message manager is added and you saw this JMS configuration updated successfully, you can go into this JMS message manager and provide the connection settings that will help help ActiveOS active server to connect to a JMS server. 
here as the application server type is Oracle WebLogic, I will select this. It will by default populate the connection factory name. If you have set up security on connection factory, then you need to pass the security credentials here. As I haven't done it, I will not. I will set send the empty credentials. These are certain properties uh, that you can uh, configure based on your requirement. The total maximum total connection is at a point of time how many JMS connections will be present in the pool. If it is minus one, then it's infinite. Maximum free connections. It's the same at a point of time how many in the pool how many JMS message connections will be maintained in the pool. Delivery mode. Based on your requirement, you can go for a persistent or non-persistent. I'll go for a persistent requirement to handle any failover JMS uh, to handle any failover situations in JMS messaging. Time to live. You can specify a uh, value based on your requirement. If you specify a values uh, of two, uh, if you specify a value of any integer uh, for that particular time being, that message will be uh, message will be stayed in that queue and after that time that message will expire you can provide a priority value pro uh, the priority value ranges from 0 to 9 9 is the highest priority once all these configurations are done you need to provide the initial context properties these are nothing but a name and value pairs that will help active or server to connect to a JMS message server as my JMS server is running on the same machine, it's local host, but the port is 7004. The initial factory cl uh, class name is already populated. Here we need to provide the WebLogic admin credentials. Once you have provided all the details in initial context properties, just go and add the JMS resources into this message manager. I will add a queue to this message manager. You can provide any logical name to this. However, the JNDI location must match with the JNDI name of queue in the application server. Just go to this queue. This is the JNDI name. Copy this JNDI name over here. Let this listener class be default. And finally click on this update button. So your JMS configuration up has been successfully created. But now we need to validate if the connection is successful or not. So click on this validate button. Here you can see the JMS configuration to this manager is validated successfully. So you have configured a messaging services in ActiveOS server which is deployed in a WebLogic ac application server. Later you can configure this message server in processes for communication of messages over JMS transport. For exploring more in JMS messaging services in ActiveOS, please refer messaging services under info center. The info center URL is displayed on the screen. We would love to hear from you. You can send your feedbacks to support videos at the rate informatica.com or you can reach us at Twitter also on Infa support. Thanks for watching Informatica support videos.